Welcome to the tutorial series on basic electrical engineering made simple. In this session, we shall take up basic circuit concepts and discuss on analysis of series, parallel and series parallel circuits. We know that an electrical circuit is a combination of active passive circuit elements connected in some configurations. Then what are the different configurations? We find the different configurations such as series, parallel, series parallel, star and delta connections. In this tutorial, we shall discuss only series, parallel and series parallel circuits. First, let us take up a series circuit. A series circuit, in my view, is analogous to a human chain that we form. In that, what we do? The right hand of one is held by the left hand of the next and so on. In the electrical engineering terms, we can define a series circuit as that wherein the finishing end of one element is connected to the starting end of the next and so on. And the first starting end and the last finishing end is connected across a voltage source as shown in figure. And a refined definition of a series circuit is that in which the current through all the circuit elements connected in series will be same. But the applied voltage divides between all the series connected circuit elements depending on the value of each resistance. To find the total resistance of a series connected circuit elements, Consider the series connected circuit shown in figure wherein n number of resistors are connected in series, a voltage of V is applied and a current of I is flowing through all the circuit elements. And if we write the Kirchhoff's loop equation, we know that V is equal to Vr1 plus Vr2 etc. plus Vrn where Vr1 is the voltage across R1, Vr2 is the voltage across R2 and Vrn is the voltage across Rn. And according to Ohm's law we know Vr1 is equal to I to R1. So by substituting these values we get V by I is equal to R1 plus R2 plus etc. plus Rn or Rt is equal to R1 plus R2 plus etc. plus Rn where Rt is the totally equivalent resistance of the resistances connected in series. Friends, now if I ask you what are the features of series connection, your answer should be number one, current through all the series connected elements will be same. Number two, voltage applied across all the series elements is divided according to the value of each resistance. And how can we find the voltage across any resistance that we want? That we can find using what is known as the voltage division theorem. And we know that RT is equal to V divided by R I is equal to V divided by RT. We also know that say V R1 is equal to I into R1 and if you substitute for the value of I we get V R1 is equal to V divided by RT into R1 or V R1 is equal to R1 divided by RT into V. Looking into this equation we can generalize to find the voltage across any nth resistance. For example, V 
across nth resistance is equal to the ratio of the resistance value of nth resistance divided by the total resistance into the total voltage. Using this formula, we can find the voltage across any series connected resistance and this is called as voltage division theorem. Therefore, we can state the voltage division theorem like this. The voltage division theorem states that the voltage across nth resistance V R n is equal to the ratio of the value of nth resistance to the total value of the resistances connected in series into the total voltage applied. Friends, now let us take up a parallel circuit. In a layman's language, a parallel circuit can be defined as that in which the starting ends of all the circuit elements are connected to one common point and the finishing ends of all the elements are connected to another common point and the voltage is connected across these two common points and that such a circuit we call it as a parallel circuit. Refined definition of a parallel circuit is that the circuit elements are connected in such a way that the voltage applied across all the parallel connected elements will be same but the total current divides through all the parallel connected circuit elements depending on the value of each resistance. And if we apply the Kirchhoff's current law to a junction, we find that a total current I is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus etc. plus IRN. Friends, if I ask you, what are the features of the parallel connection? Your answer should be 1. Voltage applied across all the parallel connected elements will be same. Whereas, the total current drawn from the supply is shared between all the parallel connected elements depending on the value of each resistance. But, how can we find the equation for the total resistance? That we can find using Kirchhoff's current law. We know that I is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus etc. plus IRN. But total current I is equal to total voltage divided by the total resistance that is V divided by RT and V divided by RT is equal to V divided by R1 plus V divided by R2 etc. which will give us equation for the total resistance as 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 etc. plus 1 over Rn. But how can we find current flowing through any parallel connected resistance? That we can find using what is known as current division theorem. We know that I is equal to V divided by RT or V is equal to I into RT. But current in any resistance such as R1, I can say that I R1 is equal to V divided by R1 that we know. But V is equal to I into RT. So, if we substitute, we get I R1 is equal to RT divided by R1 into total current I. Then, how can we define the current division theorem? Friends, the current division theorem states that the current through nth resistance is equal to the ratio of total equivalent of all the parallel connected resistances to the value of nth resistance into the total current I. 
friends now we shall see some interesting facts about the parallel connected resistances let's consider that the two resistances of same value r1 are connected in parallel and we want to find the total resistance then we know that 1 over rt is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r1 again from which we get rt is equal to r1 divided by 2 what does this mean if n number of resistors are connected in parallel then total equivalent resistance rt is equal to the value of each resistance divided by n the number of resistances connected in parallel if somebody ask you if 50 resistances of 100 ohm each are connected in parallel can you tell immediately what is the total resistance you can say yes rt is equal to value of each resistance that is 100 divided by total number of resistors connected in parallel that is 50 and rt is equal to 2 ohm is it not interesting friends let us see another interesting fact let's find out the total resistance of the two resistors connected in parallel one of 1 ohm and another resistance of 10 ohm then we know 1 over rt is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 10 from which we get rt is equal to 10 divided by 11 and that is equal to 0 0.909090 etc what does this mean if n number of registers are connected in parallel then the total equivalent resistance rt is less than the least for example if somebody asks you look there are five resistances one of uh, 1000 ohm another of 2000 ohm another of 3000 ohm another of 5000 ohm and the last one is of 1 ohm can you tell how much is the total resistance you can easily say that it is less than 1 ohm because 1 ohm is the least resistance that is connected in parallel is it not interesting friends to emphasize the concepts that we have learned let's take up a very simple example for example in example 1 find the equivalent resistance between the terminals a and b of the circuit shown in figure to find the total resistance between a and b your first requirement is to identify the connectivity of the circuit elements for example this 3 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in series therefore its equivalent is 6 and this equivalent of 6 and this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel which means three resistances of 6 ohm each are connected in parallel therefore equivalent is 2 ohm therefore the entire circuit can be reduced to a series circuit wherein across a and b 1 ohm 2 ohm and 2 ohm all are connected in series therefore the equivalent resistance between a and b is 5 ohm this you have to understand let us see another very very interesting example example 2 find the resistances connected in series and in parallel in the circuit shown in figure 2 so here no calculations are involved you are required to identify only the series connected and the parallel connected circuit resistances for example when i ask students to find out the series connected elements many of the students will say that 1 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in series definitely these two are not connected in series because examine that the current flowing through them is not same 
Similarly, many students will say that 3 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in parallel. Definitely they are not in parallel because this end of the two resistors are connected to one common point, I agree. Whereas these two ends are not connected to a common point. Therefore, the resistances of 3 ohm and 4 ohm are not in parallel. Similarly, 4 ohm and 5 ohm are not in series because the same current is not flowing. And 1 ohm, 2 ohm and 6 ohm are not connected in parallel because both of them are not connected to the same common point because of this resistance which is connected in between 3 ohm. So, if this connection here is removed, then 1 and 2 will be in series and 6 will be in parallel of across 1 and 2 ohm, I agree. But because of this connection of 3 ohm resistance in this circuit, exactly there are no series connected resistors and there are no parallel connected resistors. And if you are able to identify this, you have understood the series parallel configuration correctly. Thank you for watching.